I'm particularly excited because I have a, a nice surprise for everyone here in that Raja is uh, tuning in again and is ready to go, I believe. So I'll just bring her onto the stage now. Okay, Raja, how are you? Hi, good evening again. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. I'm uh, slow network to, today, but I fix it. So yeah, I'm no. very happy to be with you. Yes. Uh, greetings from Tunisia. Of course, not a problem, Raja. Thank you for, for trying again and, and joining. We're really happy to have you with us. And I've seen that there's quite a few people from Tunisia tuning in to the 12 hour live stream. So you have your fans um, and I'm sure they're proud to have you representing them. Um, so if you're ready to go, I'll, I'll hand the stage over to you. OK, sure. Yes. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Sure. Uh, I would like first to uh, to thank all the team okay, of uh, Wakelet. You've been amazing all of these years. A great effort, uh, priceless and the generous uh, assistance to all the educators in the world. So a great thank you from Tunisia and from all over the world. Thank you indeed for the amazing work you've doing and you're still doing. Uh, I can't remember all the names, Tisha, uh, Michael, Amy, but uh, huge thanks indeed. Uh, so I'm ready to share my presentation today. Yeah, we can okay, see. Okay, so it. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me, Michael? Is it okay for the audio and for the shared screen? Is it okay? Yeah, it's all perfect. Good. So connecting global classroom. I will. I would like to start from my uh, personal experience. Uh, I've been involved in a PBL approach, in PBL projects all over the world with European, in collaboration with European countries, uh, with my students, of course. Uh, and Wakelot has been indeed uh, the easiest platform to uh, curate content and to uh, instill uh, multiculturalism indeed. So today I would like to share my experience with uh, the global community of Wakelot teachers. First of all, I'd like maybe some of you have confusion, okay, or ambiguity about the uh, definition or the concept of PBL. Simply PBL stands for project-based learning. Uh, some other people prefer the use of problem-based learning. Slight difference, of course, but project-based learning is more of a multicultural concept uh, in which schools all around the world work in global projects, international projects, and they are involved in a real-world project. It means uh, related to their daily life, for example, environmental issues, water scarcity, social issues, uh, educational one, illiteracy, uh, and uh, we cannot, of course, uh, uh, forget the well-being and mental health issues. So students from different countries can work on that uh, concept or the, on that topics, on these topics, uh, through the use of uh, Wakelet. Okay, maybe you can ask what are the benefits of PBL? Why do we use the, these, uh, if you want, international global projects? Of course, it has a lot of benefits, uh, just a few to mention. To enhance and encourage critical thinking for our students, they can solve problems by themselves. Uh, creativity also, they unleash creativities. And last but not least, collaboration. A lot of students from different countries can collaborate uh, asynchronously, asynchronously using the Wakelet platform. Uh, added to that, we can mention a uh, deeper understanding of content, as I mentioned seconds ago, whether it is an environmental problem, especially today, uh, Earth on the brink of extinction. We face a lot of uh, um, controversial issues that should uh, be, if you want, tackled, such as water scarcity, uh, the CO2 emission, pollution. So students, via the use of PBL and the work on the Wakelet platform, they enhance their understanding they understand that there are uh, problems that they could be responsible to tackle. So they should uh, feel more self-confident. Uh, they take responsibility to act. And I think it's very important to create um, a very uh, conscious citizen today, global citizen. Uh, also, as I mentioned, the real world challenges. Do not forget today when I'm talking about uh, critical thinking, problem solving skills, I'm talking about the 21st century skills uh, added to that teamwork, for example, leadership. So these simple, uh, if you want, um, uh, 
um, tactics or uh, skills that students should inquire, they uh, prepare them later for their labor work, for the workforce. That's why it is the success of building uh, a more developed communities. And of course, it, in, it motivates them and engages them. It's not the same when you work with a Tunisian classroom, only our students, and when you work online with uh, multi-diverse uh, ethnicities. Okay, I will show you later. I will take you uh, on a tour to my collection. And I will show you different uh, countries that students enjoy really working uh, with them uh, using the platform of Wakelet. Of course, if you have any questions, any uh, clarifications, be my guest, okay, via the chat. All right, so as I said, today we are building a global class. We are breaking down barriers, okay? There are no walls. So Wakelet has already been a catchy educational platform. For me personally, to tell the truth, it was the easiest, uh, even though on a daily basis, since I am uh, my uh, expert uh, and a trainer teacher, I use a variety of tools, but I think and I feel uh, very attached to Wakelet because it's easy, especially for students when they work with uh, other uh, global classes. So I think it's easier uh, how to copy paste the links, uh, how to curate their content. So I think it is very easy accessible because sometimes you have other platforms that are attractive too but the problem is that especially young students have difficulties um, uh, using them so i think uh, wiglet is very easy you just have uh, to copy paste uh, links uh, videos uh, the use of uh, google drive so i think it is very uh, accessible for students so, as I mentioned, today we are talking about resources that students can curate, can uh, uh, collect data about uh, a variety of topics from different countries. So here I would like to highlight the diversity, the cultural diversity, which is very, very important today to build a more sympathetic, emphatic community. And unfortunately, today we are living in wars, genocide, uh, hate speech online, uh, all this cyberbullying. So I think this could lead uh, the way to uh, having a more uh, tolerant, open-minded, peaceful community because the students, of course, will be uh, the leaders of uh, these countries in the future. They will be citizens, they will be adults. So I think we are instilling very, very important um, uh, uh, traits using these projects. Also, collaboration across borders. I remember uh, years ago with the first lockdown of the coronavirus, it was very, very hard to move from one country to another. Uh, so Wakelet was a real uh, solution to work online with these countries, because you remember the lockdown, we cannot move, especially when we talk about Etwini projects, we used to visit other countries across Europe, Italy, Poland, etc. So during the lockdown, it was very hard to uh, work on site. So a lot of activities were done online and Wicklet really provides an opportunity. the same idea of international peers because sometimes it's good uh, it's just like suspense if you want for students to work with uh, uh, global students from other countries differences even in uh, uh, facial expressions hair color so i think it's very uh, motivating for them especially when i talk about younger students it's uh, more fun to work with um, different if you want communities and of course, it provides a space for collaborative learning. Uh, I've already presented many uh, uh, CPT uh, sessions. As I said, I am a teacher, a trainer teacher. So I've presented on-site or online learning for my fellow educators. And uh, a lot of um, uh, curative uh, content uh, were made with Wakelet. So today I am using Wakelet even for my online training to fellow educators. I think it is uh, uh, time saving also, yes. All right, so bottom of the line, I'm talking about Wakelet in the use of class without borders, words without differences, 
Open-mindedness is very important to instill tolerance, acceptance of differences, uh, whether sexual, uh, whether religious, whether ethnical. I think this is the uh, laying the, if you want, uh, the foundation for having a peaceful world. And how much do we need a peaceful world today, free from hunger, free from wars, free from genocide, free from poverty, misery? So I think it is very, very crucial. So, Wakelet paves the way for a multicultural education. Even when I'm talking about, I'm uh, uh, coming back to my experience, of course, because I think that working with uh, uh, teachers from around the globe have taught me a lot, me and my students. Of course, even the syllabus, uh, even the objectives, the skills of the lessons vary from one country to another. So it was a great opportunity to get in touch with these students and their teachers to exchange simple things, for example, even when it comes to uh, uh, traditions, uh, food, uh, uh, clothing. So uh, we had already, I will show you later on my tour on the wakelet, we had uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, collections about sharing our traditional habits, uh, uh, festivals, celebrities. So I think it's very important to know cultures of other people and wakelet is the exact place to share and to exchange and to be open to the world. As I mentioned at the beginning, and this is very, very important, we should today highlight the importance of responsible citizens across the globe and working via the PBL and use of Wakelet, exchanging ideas of self-esteem, of respect of others, of tolerance, of embracing differences. I think we can teach okay, these attitudes, these principles to children. And uh, personally, I've used Wakelet to enhance uh, that multiculturalism, that uh, responsibility. Of course, open-mindedness today, unfortunately, we are living in a, a world that is torn between hate, uh, violence, terrorism, the rise of terrorism, especially lately in the last uh, uh, decade has a lot or a negative, a tremendous effect on uh, youngsters, all of these brainwashing techniques that terrorism uh, or terrorists all over the world sadly are using, I think, to, um, uh, to help students be more responsible, more open-minded is very important. To show them that even if you are different in religion, in ethnicity, in skin color, in sexual orientation, you are still a human being that should be respected, cherished and loved. And this is, I think, very important. The concept of inclusive, for uh, inclusivity, if you want, social inclusivity, yes tolerance and acceptance and I think uh, uh, Wakelet can help students be more tolerant to each other when they read for example in some uh, collections uh, what are the daily activities of other students in different countries in Italy in Kuwait we have worked with a lot of countries so they feel that a teenager is a teenager wherever he comes from he has the simple dreams the simple ambitions uh, the same social daily activities activity, use of social platform, TikTok, Instagram, so he is not different, even though he is not Muslim, for example, or a Jews or whatever religion he has or he embraces. So I think this is the first step to create a powerful community. And really, we need powerful communities today, thanks to uh, the concepts we instill in these children. So uh, I think that uh, the PBL is very, very important in uh, promoting. It's not policymakers, believe me, it's not policymakers who will change the world. It is these simple, simple uh, teaching uh, approaches that we use. It is these simple uh, things and tools like Wakelet that students are embracing and exchanging today. I uh, strongly believe in, uh, in that. Okay, I want to take you on a tour to my uh, collections. So these are some of the global projects that we uh, have done. The first one was called Mero Mero on the Wall. How could we hear them all? Uh, so it was simply a global uh, project uh, between Uh, Jordan, 
uh, Albania, Romania, Spain. And it was simply about uh, differences, to embrace our differences, to celebrate them. It was also about uh, ethnic minorities who uh, have been tortured uh, all along history. Uh, it was a call to respect women and to accept our differences. So uh, I don't know if you can see my collection. Is it okay, Michael? Yeah? Uh, it is. There is a moment of, of loss of connection, but I think it's so, okay. Yeah. It was a collaborative work, curation of videos that students have uh, created, and also it enhances their ICT skills. Uh, we should not forget that while working on the Wakelet platform, they shared their own creativity. So I think it really unleashes uh, students' creativity and uh, enhances their imagination. The effects of violence, so you can see the Wakelet platform allows students to share videos, to share links, to share images. So a variety, I think, an array of content that is uh, highly recommended today. So these are some of the videos that they have created themselves. This is the work of Tunisia, for example. Here the work of uh, Turkey. This is a Turkish school that uh, has uh, collaborated with us. Okay, so the second one, we uh, created or we planned a global campaign. As I mentioned, during the uh, lockdown and the coronavirus, it was hard to move and uh, to work in uh, groups, in uh, mixed nationalities groups. So let me log into my uh, account. Okay. So oh, we were talking about this campaign, okay. It was a campaign launched by students to raise awareness about the danger of violence inflicted upon women and uh, how much thrilled and glad I was uh, to show the different artistic work created by students. This is our partner Ilkay from Turkey. This is the work of her students. They stand in front of a mirror and they speak out their minds. They try to voice themselves. So I think it's very important to provide tools for students today to unleash their creativity. Also, they were uh, very good, very keen at presenting posters, banners, express themselves, talk about famous celebrities that were different to, uh, if you want, as, as a tribute to their differences, we should today celebrate differences, not uh, simply be ashamed or um, summoned by that. So I think uh, it's very important today to, uh, to encourage students to voice themselves. Okay. The third one, we even uh, created uh, an online book club, a global book club, and it was amazing. It was titled I Read, I Imagine. It's like uh, an online workshop uh, in which we work on different stories uh, varying from uh, uh, classics to uh, realistic ones to fairy tales. We even prepared biographies about some famous writers that students uh, have read, for example, uh, 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 Jules Verne, the famous uh, voyage around the world. And similarly, students here have used a lot of ICT tools. So I think we are working on uh, 21st century skills via the use of Wakelet at the same time. So 
in addition to uh, enhancing the concept of multiculturalism, we are encouraging students to create videos, to do the editing, uh, to use the artificial intelligence. Some of them, I remember, use the platform of uh, Chatter Kids, which is a platform uh, with AI built-in tool and you, you just uh, choose the picture of your favorite writer or character or personal celebrity it depends on the concept or the topic you are teaching to your students and you just uh, draw a line on the space of the mouth and the ai will do everything later so the picture will become a, a very real person talking with the gestures on the face with the, and of course you record yourself and you upload the, the sound you're recording your own recording uh, so i think i can't really get enough i can't really get enough of these uh, uh, projects as i said it is asynchronous collaboration different countries different countries continents, different globes, but we are still working as if it is only one classroom. There are no differences, uh, there are no uh, uh, challenges, if you want. So I think uh, Wakelet uh, allows the work to be uh, smoother, easier and time saving. Uh, this also, it was um, a part of a global project. Uh, which is entitled, I, as I remember, uh, uh, drop by drop, we could save it to the top. It was also a call today to uh, highlight the importance and the danger of uh, uh, an environmental problem, which is specifically water scarcity and water shortage. And uh, students from different countries, wow, did an amazing work on this wakelet collection. Uh, they worked, uh, some of them, uh, were assigned the role of uh, an environmentalist. So all along the project, uh, we assigned different role plays. We have the journalist, we have uh, the scientist, we have the environmentalist. So one of the groups was uh, basically uh, playing the role of the environmentalist. So students from Poland, uh, from Turkey, from Romania and Tunisia working in these mixed groups. And they create a lot of data in uh, these collections. So some paragraphs that they have written, some posters, even PDF with different languages, of course. So we think it is very crucial to uh, give the power to students to use uh, that platform today. Okay, so let's recap. So today's session was mainly about the use of Wakelet okay as uh, the the easiest i think and the more comprehensive for me personally as i said i've worked a lot with many other tools uh, not giving really names here i appreciate all of them and a great thanks to the creators of these tools but personally and from my own experience all along these years i've been with the uh, the pbl approaches or uh, projects uh, maybe four or five years uh, uh, so far so i think it was uh, the easiest platform to give voice to these students to unleash their creativity to have indeed a global classroom without walls without barriers without any differences and i think as i mentioned earlier it is very important to create a more peaceful people or person um, more open-minded tolerant because these could be change makers in the future also, the PBL approach as a comprehensive approach for teaching, uh, whether for math, for the STEM, for languages, for uh, the mental health and the well-being. So I think the cell, what we call the cell, the social emotional learning today. So I think it is a, a various, if you want, for various topics, it could be um, used luckily for a variety of topics. And of course, it guarantees the Wakelet platform guarantees global classroom experience. You don't need to move to travel. You are just in your house uh, in front of your desk. And with a click of the button, you can work and discover the world. 
okay you can uh, talk with other people work with other students uh, launch campaigns to raise awareness uh, prepare creative uh, storytelling and all of these thanks to the wakelet platform also, personally, I strongly believe that it is a booster for promoting multiculturalism and responsible citizenship. As I mentioned, do not forget, our little students will be the men of the future, will be the policy makers of the world, the leaders of the government. So I think it's uh, high time to uh, focus on that to focus on that and to try to instill. I think personally that using projects because it is extracurricular activities for students, I think it's more um, appealing than uh, just providing these concepts at school within our topics, our syllabus. I think that students are more uh, getting fed up and bored with just giving them lectures about how to be a good citizen, how to have a sustainable lifestyle, how to be eco friendly i think just letting them go with these projects uh, discovering for themselves what is the concept of a peaceful life just in getting in touch with other students in these projects uh, just sharing their ideas their thoughts voicing themselves out loud i think this could be uh, could have more um, if you want uh, 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 logical, I don't know, maybe data output, I mean the output, I think it will be more beneficial than just using the old fashioned way of giving these concepts, encouraging them not to waste water, encourage them to uh, to be eco-friendly, not to, uh, uh, to throw garbage, wherever. So I think letting them, giving them, uh, just leading them, okay? Lead them, put them on the path, okay? This is a, cult a multicultural uh, project with different countries, with the, uh, people from different backgrounds. Okay, go ahead and um, make yourself, if you want, to be responsible, do whatever you want in this project. So I think just getting in touch, the first thing they will have, it will uh, become just as an enlightenment. They are not so different from me. They have the same favorite activities. They, uh, they like what I like. They eat what I eat. So I think it is very important today to start from that point. Okay, that's it. I want it to be very short, very uh, simple, very uh, touchy, if you want. I don't know if you have any questions, any uh, um, suggestions or clarifications about uh, today's session. Uh, yes, Michael. Thank you, Raja. Um, My pleasure. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them into the chat now. Um, but all I'd like to say, Raja, is I'm, I'm really glad that we did manage to get you back on because your message of inclusivity and peace and open-mindedness is, is really inspiring and very important, I think. Um, so thank you uh, for- My for pleasure, my pleasure. Delivering that. Uh, I'm wearing my pen. I'm wearing my uh, Wakelet pen uh, with the pride. Really? I'm very happy. Thank you. It was a priceless gift. Thank you to all the team of Wakelet. Of course, our pleasure. Um, so, and, and, and I encourage you, Raja, to look through the chat during while you were speaking uh, when, okay. when you get a chance because the, um, the wonderful messages and uh, encouragement. And I think everyone appreciates the message that you're sharing and the work that you're doing with students to, to encourage that, that inclusivity uh, is, is truly wonderful. So thank you for taking the time to deliver that. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? Uh, okay, I'd like to rethink again the Wakelet team and uh, just to call for all the educators try to use Wakelet with your students and you will see how, uh, how brilliant it will be in your classroom. It will be just a change of mind for them and hearts also. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks again, Raja. Really appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.